good afternoon everyone just popping on here real quick um, I guess I meant to talk about this yesterday but we got, got into something else that was on my mind um, but yeah um, I was going to talk about um, as we saw on Saturday morning um, the uh, coronation of uh, King Charles III and I wanted to talk about it. Um, I watched the ceremony, got up early and watched it. Um, and uh, I thought it was an amazing ceremony. And they didn't even go all decked out like they could have. Um, you know, I, I believe the king wanted it, you know, a little less, a little less. Um, it was still an amazing ceremony um, and it's just an amazing thing to watch history in the making and you know as you, you know while it's going on I think it's it's an awesome day I'm, I'm all for constitutional monarchies I think they're the best thing I think it, it combines history and relevance all in the same thing um, and there's a lot of people that are against monarchies but in reality if you're in a constitutional monarchy then you know Really, the, the monarchs are more symbolic than anything else. But yet you retain them for national pride and, and those type of things. And I think it's wonderful what just about all of the monarchies in Europe, except for, with the exception, I think, of, I want to say, three. Uh, and so... Uh, I think it's wonderful. I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed um, seeing it. Obviously, I'm just distantly related to them. Uh, no, I'm not in the line of succession. Um, uh, but I think that it's, you know, it's, it, it was a wonderful thing to watch. Uh, I think that you know, it's a it's a great it's just it's just a great thing to be able to see and and, and still exist in modern day. I think it's wonderful, um, and I think other European countries should reconsider having constitutional monarchies because in reality, the monarch doesn't have any power per se. You know, um, they you know Parliament and you know. You know, their congresses or parliaments still run the country, still have a prime minister or a president, but you retain the monarch as part of national pride and tradition. And I'm all for that. I'm all for that. So um, I think it's I think it's a wonderful thing, um, and I enjoyed it tremendously. And I know a lot of people don't, but there's still a place for it. There's still a place to combine tradition and still, you know, have, you know, modern governments. And you can have both. And England and you, the United Kingdom is proof that you can have both. Um, you know, obviously, everything has its quirks and everything has its, you know, uh, issues, just like anything else. But in the end... It is a wonderful uh, conglomeration, a wonderful melding of, of things, and they make it work. And I think it's wonderful. Uh, and again, I think France and Germany should reconsider, and they should, you know, institute the constitutional monarchy um, just to hold that traditional thing. I think it'd be wonderful. Um, Italy too. enjoyed it a lot um, I don't know how many of y'all watched it but um, I made it a point to watch it obviously because you know I was interested in it um, you know, ever since started started my family tree almost a decade ago and you know I've taken a deep dive into royalty of course um, but I think it was great I think King Charles will do fine um, I am 
looking forward to seeing his son, Prince William, become king. I think they are really, truly the future of the monarchy, not just in the UK, but everywhere. Um, I, you know, I think, I think, you know, they'll be wonderful. I think King Charles will be fine. And I, I think he'll do what he needs to do. And, you know, when it's his time, then, then Prince William will step up and, and I think do, do a great job as well. So yeah, I think um, monarchies aren't dead, um, and I think people have an issue with monarchies because they're too focused on past history and not what's working. I think they're too focused on absolute monarchies, which are big in you know Asia and Africa and, 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 and uh, Middle East. But constitutional monarchies are fabulous, and they work. They work well. And I think um, because they're more tied to the people's desire and wants, that's why they work so well. Um, and so as long as, you know, they're not causing a bunch of confusion or, or anything like that, then the people will continue to be in favor of constitutional monarchies. I think as long as they represent their countries well and they do the things that they do, people will continue to like them and they can still be relevant. So yeah, I think, I think it's a great, wonderful thing and I enjoy watching it. Um, I've always kind of wanted to be a knight. It would be cool to be knighted. That'd be awesome. May or may never happen, but I thought it was, <coughs> I thought it was a, I thought it'd be, I think it would be a cool thing to be. Excuse me. And, uh, but nevertheless, it was awesome. I enjoyed it. Kind of just wanted to make a comment on it. I think, I think it's, um, I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a, it's a blessing, um, you know, to be able to be, a, to witness history. And that's, ex that's exactly what it was, was history. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a great thing to be able to witness history and say that, you know what, I watched that. Or I was there, you know. So that's that's the great thing about uh, you know that's the great the great thing about being able to watch things like that as you're witnessing history. And I hope it lasts for many, 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 many years to come. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's. Uh, Uh, I think it's a wonderful thing. So that's all I came on here to say is just talk about the coronation, King Charles III and, and uh, uh, Queen Camilla. Um, I think it was, again, a great thing. And I know I'm repeating myself, but I can't express you know, how great watching it was. Obviously, I'd rather have been there, but, you know, and that and then the procession through London and and all the military just decked out. I just, I love it. I just absolutely love it. I think it's wonderful. Um, and uh, it's just fantastic. I love it. I just so love it. So, yeah, that's all I came here to talk about. Just something simple today. Just, you know, just, again, just kind of reviewing the, the coronation of King Charles and how, I'm, you know, my opinions on it. Um, again, I'm not an anti-monarchist. But at the same time, I believe the only monarchies that can be successful in modern times are constitutional ones. Most definitely in Europe. Now, like I said, in Asia and Africa and the Middle East, they have absolute monarchies and they work because that's a different type of society. Um, but in Europe and in the West, constitutional monarchies are probably the only thing that's going to work. I believe Spain is not a constitutional monarchy, but I, I could be wrong. No, they are, but they're. I think they're not absolute primogenitor. I believe, and I believe Luxembourg is 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 not a. I believe Luxembourg or Liechtenstein. One of the two are absolute monarchies. Like I said, I think not all the European monarchies that are left are constitutional. So, um, but I believe that's the best way 
to do it. So that's it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was wonderful. I hope it continues. I think, uh, you know, they, they, they've got it down there in the U UK and it works. And I hope it continues to work. And I hope the people appreciate the fact that, you know, they can have their modern governments, but yet still hold on to tradition and legacy and and, uh, and pride in having a monarch that represents your country. And I hope they continue to do that, as well as the other countries in Europe. Uh, I think they I think they would do well to keep it. So all right, that's all I got to talk about on today. So we will see you all again on tomorrow. God bless you.